Well, good morning world. First thing I'm going to do today, I believe, is finish framing this up so that I can put my insulation in and do something very similar over here. This is just about finished, but I need to frame around that window and finish that up. Uh, I had considered working on the windows. The windows are sitting in place. Just a couple of screws here to, you know, hold them in place. And if you can see the sky out there, Looks like it's going to rain. I don't want to take them out and paint all of this because I wouldn't be able to set them back in there with the paint wet. So I'm going to save that for another day. I'm thinking in terms of getting the house buttoned up before it gets cold. There's a chill in the air already and uh, I would like to have all of this finished and insulated. So I'm going to work on that today. Same thing over here. Get this over here finished and insulated and uh, build my little I'm gonna build a couple little hiding doors that allows me access to these back storage spaces and do that on both sides and the doors will have to be made so that they can be slid in and slid out and the doors themselves will have to be insulated so they're gonna to need to be about nine ten inches thick and probably what I'll do is make a make a little nine or ten inch deep box with a door on the outside that I can pull out and slide over to one side it's gonna be kind of bulky but I can't really think of a better way or, or a, a neater way to do it so that'll be on the plan we'll see how far we get I may also put my uh, ladder in I've got a pull down ladder up here and I'm gonna put the joists in up here I was gonna leave this open until I could buy some plywood but I've decided to leave that off go ahead and finish this up and get it insulated frankly because I can't afford to buy the plywood right away and my thinking is later on uh, you know I can bring lumber up there I can floor that with boards if I have to but it's something I can pay for later rather than have to pay for now so anyway there's all that and uh, I'll get busy we'll see how much I can get done I guess this is worth sharing that's an old door that was mounted in the house it was actually a closet door that sat right here and there was a square kind of a deal there and that closet door sat there I want it to sit there again what I'm having to do is work with a lot of really weird angles though because you can see how my roof comes down and the door goes across sideways which means that these two bys had to be cut angled on both ends and slanting in and the same thing is happening here this is the piece that the door is going to hinge on it's going to sit up on top of that two before stud down there and it's going to fit this board just like this and the process of making this happening is sort of a slow process of cutting a piece a little bit too big, marking it, getting the angle right. Like right now the angle is right, it just needs to be a little shorter, so now I can just take little straight pieces off that end until it slips right up in there. It will become the corner piece and the piece that I swing that old door from. Uh, it's, I, I'm doing a lot of work with levels, <laughs> framing squares and things of that nature, but it's pretty cool work. I just wanted to share it and I'll show you more later when I get it finished up. Man, I did a lot of saw work today. Made a lot of kindling wood. <laughs> but I also made this door fit. This is the uh, closet door I was telling you about before. And the way we've got that framed up is as you come to the top of the stairs, it sort of sits at an angle there. Um, and it also allows easy access into the storage area when we open this I will have a couple of insulated uh, lift out doors there that will allow me to bring something like uh, I don't know uh, any anything that you can store in a, in a space like that I've got storage to both ends of the house there so and we can kind of hide that with a little closet here where we can put some winter coats or vacuum cleaners or mops and brooms or whatever and it uh, it kind of I think it kind of works with this space because I've I've created this so that the doors here kind of angle I don't know if you can see it on the video and so having that door at an angle I think works well with the rest of this space up here as you uh, as you come to the top of the stairs it kind of invites you to walk around into this open space and then you've got a door over there to one bedroom, a door over there to another bedroom, a door over there to the bathroom. So it almost creates what's the effect of a kind of a circular spot here. And we were thinking under that skylight would be a good place to put a chair, maybe a bench. Good place to sit and read, stuff like that. Uh, I got all this framed up in such a way that I can uh, 
I can insulate and sheet rock it up here now. So there's that. Uh, that's a pretty good day's work. I didn't accomplish a, a boatload of stuff, but you know it was it was very uh, very tricky doing the cuts there. So I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, y'all have a nice day. Okay, this is pretty fun. We got it done. Uh, at least the door's up there. I hadn't trimmed it out yet. And of course, I will sheetrock it and do some more trimming later on. But uh, I think it's good. Let me, let me walk around here so that you can see it. Uh, kind of a little closet door here. And latch up here. Flip it open. Go right inside. Let's go in the closet. You want to? All right. How about that? And then we got some storage space back in there. And... Uh, we doggies, ain't we? Ain't we living in high cotton here. So, that's good. That's good. Got a little work done today. Not as much as I probably like to, but, you know, you do a little bit every day, and then uh, before you know it, you got a bunch done. So, that's good. Y'all have a nice day.